Thanks for choosing Channel 3 this Wednesday morning. I'm Dom Amato. Covered bridges are a staple in Vermont, but they're becoming harder to maintain, getting worn down by the elements or damaged over time. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live at the Lakeshore Covered Bridge over Holmes Creek in Charlotte, which is one of the shortest in Vermont. Melissa, what are towns doing to preserve these historic structures? Good morning, Dom. Well, this covered bridge behind me was built in 1870, and then in 1990, it received extensive work. Now, as we said, this is one of 100 bridges in the state that's still intact. And right now, town leaders in different parts of the state are doing what they can to make sure that these bridges are preserved. I checked out Linden, which is the covered bridge capital of the Northeast Kingdom. In the center of Linden, above the Pasumsic River, sits the Sanborn Bridge. It's 153 years old, and Linden town officials say it's showing its age. If we got flooded this upcoming spring in 2023, you might see this bridge go away. It's really that pressing. Grattan says it almost fell into the river in 2013, but a national organization provided funding to fix it. But it still wasn't enough repair to sustain the test of time. And because it sits so low to the river, um, some of the, it's like a technical term, these little things in the bottom that actually lift the bridge up have broken off. Mm. And so that's a big part of it. Um, we also just see deterioration. It's 153 years old. If you're a covered bridge enthusiast, you might know that the Sanborn Bridge is one of the only Paddleford Trust bridges left in the state. Grattan also says it's 118 feet long, making it the longest over a river without any middle support. Restoring the bridge would cost town leaders $1.5 million which they hope to pay for with grants and donations. And the Sanborn Bridge isn't the only in Linden that's in need of repairs. This is the Miller's Run Bridge, which has become infamous for being damaged by big box trucks time and time again. And we are putting in truck blockers, like these little rail systems that like if a truck comes by, it's going to hit that before it hits the bridge, just so that we keep the bridge safe. There are 100 covered bridges left in the state. Covered Bridge Society founder Liam McCone says, in addition to wear and tear, threats to covered bridges include flood, fire, and for around 50 bridges, traffic. There's always a concern about um, keeping them up in good shape. We've got a program of fireproofing. Uh, the last two that we lost were lost to fire. At one time, he says there was as many as 500 bridges, but preservation efforts didn't really begin until 50 years ago. And now many Vermonters keep an eye on the bridges. The society hears from people all over the state when there's a bridge threat, like an ice jam or branches down or even boards that fall off. What's more iconic than the covered bridge in, in Vermont, you know? Uh, I wish I had a nickel for every photo that's taken of them. And in Linden, Grattan tells me that they expect to start some construction on the front part of the bridge, the Sanborn Bridge, in 2024. But she says that the full project will take a couple of years com to complete due to the scale. But she says it's actually pretty good considering how big the project would be. For now, live in Charlotte, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.